Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are mighty. You are wonderful. Every soul counts. Every heart. It matters to God. We want to thank you for the wonderful service. We want to thank you for your blessings, for your power and your anointing. We feel, Lord, as we pray at the beginning of this service. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory and the honor that's due unto your name. We exalt you tonight. We praise you, Lord, tonight. Hallowed be thy name, sweet Jesus. For the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Our faith will be tested. Has anybody had their faith tested recently? Our faith. Amen. We get kicked in the shin. We get our feet knocked out from underneath us. Our faith. It will be tested. And I'm going to be preaching about our faith tonight and the importance of having faith in something. And our faith is in the Lord. Amen. One of the scriptures that I was going to read tonight in my sermon, I want to read as we begin tonight. I want this to be a faith strengthening service. Is that okay? Hebrews 10 and 23 says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Let us hold fast. Don't let go. Hold fast, church. The profession of our faith without wavering. It's not a time to stagger. It's not a time to step back. It's not a time to waver, for He is faithful. What God has promised you, He is faithful. It's the Word of the Lord. For He is faithful that promise. Praise God. The Scripture before that says, Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance. Everybody say, full assurance. Full assurance of faith. Amen. Does anybody have a full assurance tonight? If you don't, just be honest. Maybe you don't have the full assurance that everything's going to be okay. But I want to encourage everybody in the house tonight. I know there's some weariness. VBS, five days in a row. Come on now. Amen. But it was worth it. But tonight, our faith needs to be strengthened. We need to have the reminder that God is in control of every situation. And we have the full assurance I don't care what the devil tells you tonight. You have the full assurance that everything's going to be all right. Amen? So I want us to lift our hands as we begin this service. And when we get through worship, and I want the praise team to come up and to be ready to sing. But I want you to lift your hands and say, Lord, tonight I pray for this vessel, for this heart, that my faith would be strengthened. Lord, that you would remind me of the scripture that we just read. Lord, help us to have the full assurance that everything's going to be all right. That our faith, it's going to be shaken at times and we may stumble. But Lord, tonight I pray that you would strengthen the life center. That our faith, Lord, would stand the test of time no matter the size of the waves. No matter how hard the wind blows. My faith is in the Lord. My trust is in Jesus. Faith, God. We want to have faith tonight in spite of circumstances. My faith is still in the Lord. My faith is still in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go back to where we're sitting with the full assurance that our faith is going to be strengthened tonight. Amen not going to leave this place discouraged tonight. I'm going to receive something from God. Does anybody have that desire? Come on, church. Faith. Keep the faith. Let's worship the Lord in song tonight. And open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
and open the eyes of my heart is I want to see you is I want to see you open the eyes open the eyes of my heart Lord and open the eyes of my heart is I want to see you is I want to see you and open the eyes open the eyes of my heart Lord is open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you Oh, and open the eyes of my heart, Lord And open the eyes of my heart As I want to see you As I want to see you Oh, to see you I lift it up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy See you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Is I want to see you. Is I want to see you. Open, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Is I want to see you. Yes, I want to see you, see, see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love, as we sing holy, 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 see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. You're holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 you're holy, 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 I want to see you, you're holy, 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 you are holy, holy, we cry, holy, 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 I want to see you, you're holy, holy, holy. Your power in love as we keep holy, holy, holy. I feel high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power in love as we try holy, holy, holy. I feel high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out the power in love as we sing holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. As I want to see you. You're holy, holy, holy. See you. You're holy, 
You're holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. Cause I want to see you. Oh, I see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. I pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place. I'm a father. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our hearts we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You, you are awesome in this place, mighty You are worthy of all praise. To you our hearts we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. As I come into your presence, past the gates of praise. Into your sanctuary, you were standing face to face. 
I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, I'm a so awesome in this place there is none greater in all of the earth hallelujah could you just reach out and praise him tonight how awesome how mighty is that name of Jesus hallelujah we worship you Lord here tonight we honor you. You are awesome in this place, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for increasing our faith. Thank you for the Spirit, God, that's in this place. The liberty. For the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. <clears throat> Praise God. Praise God. We love and praise you tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Wonderful presence of the Lord here tonight. Hallelujah. God's going to do something wonderful in this service. Amen? Our faith. He's concerned about your faith. He really is. And He wants to increase it tonight. By the way of announcements... Amen. Tuesday, Torrential Tuesday, remember the times of prayer, 5.30 in the morning for men, corporate prayer. Wednesday night will be geared towards a patriotic service. July the 4th is coming up this week. Thank God for our freedom, what we have here in America. Amen. So we'll be here Wednesday night to honor the Lord. July the 6th at Saturday at 10 o'clock, there is a all-church picnic at Seminole Park. Seminole Park. If you need directions or more info, please Speak to the foxes. Please raise your hand for the fox. He nodded very good this morning. Did a great job. Amen. He's a yes man. Yes man. Amen. Praise God. Appreciate all of the adults helping today. And Sister Michelle did a fantastic job. And the foxes and the strongs and Sherbert Cones. Woo! That was powerful. <clears throat> so anyway, 10 o'clock, Seminole Park. Amen. Bring the trimmings. And uh, we will supply the meat. We're going to have a good time. Amen. Just for a couple of hours from 10 o'clock. Amen. On. Let's get together and have a good time with the Lord. Quarterly prayer and fasting coming up July the 8th through the 10th. July the 11th through the 13th is the Florida District Camp Meeting. Please make plans to go at least one night. You will be blessed. Amen. How many of you are planning on going at least one night? Camp meeting. Let's put you on the spot. I highly encourage you to go. 
Amen. You will be blessed. Don't miss out. July the 14th, everybody say Mission Sunday. It will be the day that we gather together to give of our faith promise unto the Lord. Amen. Mission Sunday, faith promise, it works. We're going to honor the Lord. We have a $1,000 commitment that's been given to this church on the 14th. Let's honor that and let's give towards missions. We have a missionary here that Sunday. Brother Michael Benson and family will be our guest missionary. They are missionaries to Central Africa. So it's going to be a wonderful service. July the 20th, men's pancake breakfast for all the men of the church. It's going to be a great time. Don't know who's cooking them yet, but we're going to have pancakes. Amen. Ladies are having a shopping trip. Amen. Going garage selling. So appreciate their thriftiness. Praise God. July 27th, all church game night. July is going to be a rocking month. A lot of activities planned. This is for you, the church. Amen. Not just to keep us busy, but it's awesome to get together with good Christian folks. Amen. It's time to give unto the Lord. Amen. Our ushers are coming. We want to honor him once again. Thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. God blesses his people. Amen. That $20 bill in your pocket, the Lord blessed you with that 20 Amen. The Lord is good to all of us, and we want to honor him tonight. So let's march, and let's come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, and honor the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you as you give tonight. Come, now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Come. One day every tongue will confess to our God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Oh, come. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Oh, come. One day, one day every time we'll confess you our God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. And one day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still 
Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. It's one day every tongue will confess to our God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Yes, one day every tongue will confess to our God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. It's come. It's come. Now, now is the time, the time to worship. It's come. Now is the time to give your heart. It comes just as you are to worship. It comes just as you are before your God. Oh, come. Come, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3, verses 12 through 19. Praise God. I want to be full of faith tonight. I really do. Amen. I want to encourage everybody here tonight to be full of faith. Amen. Do you have faith tonight? You do. You do have faith. Maybe not a total 100% faith in God, but I believe everybody here tonight has faith in engineers. You do because you cross that bridge and you don't think twice about it. You have a faith in the builders. You have a faith in your spouse as they drive you to church tonight. But let's talk about a greater faith tonight. Fiery faith. Daniel 3 verse 12. Just to set the stage, most of you know the story, but for those of you that don't, Nebuchadnezzar, the king had made an image of gold, it says in verse 1. And the king's commandment was everybody was to bow. When you hear the sound of music, when you hear the band start playing, and you hear the weird music, I want you to bow down. I don't care who you are. What your title is, you're going to bow to this idol that's made of gold. But there was three Hebrew children by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're Babylonian names. The Bible says in Verse 12, that there are certain Jews whom thou hast said over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee, they serve not the gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Nothing like a good old-fashioned tattletale. Then King Neb, in his rage and fury, commanded these three, then they brought these mean men before the king, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? Is it true that you are not bowing, that you are not worshiping this golden image? And I'm paraphrasing. Verse 16 says that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, listen to their words, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Talk about faith. But verse 18, they said, but if not. Everybody say, but if not. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. The king was filled with fury. The Bible goes on to say that he commanded the most mighty men, verse 20, and they cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Fiery faith. God help us to have fiery faith. Fiery faith. I don't care what the circumstances are tonight. For your people tonight. For your flock, Lord, encourage us tonight to withstand every song, every word, every chord of the enemy, and to not bow and to not bend 
Help us to have fiery faith established upon you, Jesus. Increase our faith tonight, Lord, through the fire. Help us to hold on, to not waver, to have the full assurance of faith. Everybody say fiery faith. Everybody say, I desire to have fiery faith. Praise God. You can be seated tonight. These three Hebrew children were living in captivity in Babylon. Their home had been besieged in Jerusalem. And these three, along with Daniel, in spite of captivity, they were favored of the king. Sure, their names had been changed. Their real names... You look at verse 6 and 7 of chapter 1 was Hananiah and Mishael and Azariah. That was their real names. Living in captivity, their names had been changed. But life was good. The Bible says in verse 4, chapter 1, these were children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace in whom they might teach the learning and the tongue. They were favored of the king in captivity, but life was good. All was well until their beliefs and their convictions and their religion was challenged by the king. It was smooth sailing. It was a beautiful thing until their faith was tested. Your faith will be tested, church. There will come a time in your life when the heat will be turned up. And I want to have a spirit of encouragement tonight. That someone tonight would understand that it is a possibility to you to have fiery faith in spite of what the enemy brings against you. We get along with the enemy just fine. We're mixed in with the world. It's okay until our faith is challenged. And then we find out and the enemy finds out what kind of faith you really have. Rage and fury describe the angry king that was coming after the three Hebrew children. These fine, faithful men had established themselves. They were standing up. They had refused to bow. They had refused to worship this golden image that had been set up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. It was a faith-stretching scenario. Anybody ever had their faith stretched? And it seems like the world is coming against you, and you don't feel like coming to church on a Sunday night. There's going to come times, even on a Sunday afternoon, when your faith will be tested. The fire, it will come. The heat will be turned up. But if there ever was a time for the church to stand up and say, I want to have fiery faith that will withstand the enemy. It doesn't matter if he cranks it up seven times. Brother Alex, I'm going to stand for God. Amen? This is what I believe. This is my faith. But when you hear that sound of music, young men, when that band starts up, I want you to bow. There's no excuses. It's time for you to worship this golden idol. It was a white knuckle, raging, furious moment. It was a challenge to their faith in God. A challenge to their faith. From a king, the Bible says he was enraged. There was fury. It was upsetting to him that there were three men. These young men that stood and said, you know what? You play your crazy music. You play your hip-hop and your rock and roll. We're not going to bow. We like southern gospel music. Amen? And we're going to stand right over here. Amen? Go ahead and play the music of the world. Amen? But we have some music that we're going to listen to. And we're not going to bow down because they had a fiery faith. A faith that had been made up a long time before that moment, Sister Gangadine. Amen? There was a faith within these men that said, you know what? When that moment comes... We're going to stand. I don't care what we face in captivity. I know that we're favored now. But when it comes, Shadrach, I'm not bowing. I'm not bending. Amen. I've got a fiery faith that will stand the test of time. Praise God. So, the thermostat was set on broil. It was high. It was cranked up seven times. It was an urgent request. So hot, even the men of the army, they died while throwing in these three 
Hebrew children. You talk about a hot moment. You talk about heat. Amen? Praise God. But these young men were united in faith. And it was decided before the heat was turned up, we're not going to change our minds. We're not going to bow. I'm preaching to you about fiery faith. Fiery faith. I don't care how hot it is in the kitchen, my friend. I don't care what's coming against your family. Amen. Establish a fiery faith before the storm comes, before the fire is turned up seven times. We will not bow and we will not bend. Fiery faith. If that's what you desire, I want you to lift your hands right now. God's going to start pouring out some fiery faith right now in the name of Jesus. Let it happen, Lord. Bless this church. Bless your people, Lord. Lord, with fiery faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. What kind of faith do you have tonight, church? What kind of faith do you have in the Lord? The Scripture says that these men had a but if not kind of faith. Oh, we believe that He can, Sister Moorfield. We believe that He can, but if not, we're still going to worship the Lord. But if not, we're not going to bow. And we're not going to bend to that idol of gold. Deliverance or not, we will have faith. We will trust in that unchanging hand. Amen? You can threaten us with burning to death. But there were three men that had a made up mind. I'm going to have fiery faith. I'm going to stand strong. Amen. I'm not going to wilt under the pressure. I'm not going to listen to the chords of that band as it fires up. Amen. I'm not going to bow. Go ahead and put it on Facebook. Go ahead and text it. Go ahead and tell your friends. Go ahead and tell your family that we're not standing. Or we're not bowing. Excuse me. We're not going to do it. Amen. You talk about fiery faith. Be it known to the world. Matter of fact, let the whole world know, the whole province. We know that we've been favored, but we're in captivity. And we don't serve the gods of Babylon. Amen. We serve the one true God. Amen. We have a fiery faith that stands in the face of adversity. What kind of faith do you have in the fox house tonight? What kind of faith do we have in the Hudspeth house tonight? I pray that it's fiery faith, amen, that when the heat's turned up, we will stand strong and not give in to the voice. You can call it stubborn. You can call it being hard-headed. You can call it crazy. But my friend, I'm preaching to you about real faith, amen? This is not Mickey Mouse stuff. This is not Disney World that I'm promoting tonight. It's a, a walk of faith. Amen? Amen. It's a hot time in serving the Lord, but you got to keep trusting in the Lord. Amen? Praise God. Does anybody know what I'm preaching about tonight? Hallelujah. Fiery faith. Hallelujah. Is your faith, Brother Rose, your faith, is it in the pressure cooker, so to speak? You might as well be ready. You might as well be prepared. It's coming. No matter how hot it gets, though, you know what, church? We cannot bend. We cannot break under the pressure. Amen. I'm preaching about fiery faith. We all have this chart. We all have this measurement system that says, God, but you're not fair. Anybody ever said that? This is not fair. I don't understand why bad things happen to good people. We have this imaginary chart. We do, don't we? That says, Lord, you know what? This is what I expected you to do. This is, this is my measurement and this is my chart of what I expect you to do. But can I tell you that God works on a totally different spectrum. Amen. He deals in the supernatural and the process that we have to go through. Through the fire. Amen. Through a furnace that's cranked up seven times. It gets hot in there. And we don't understand it. Can I remind you tonight that we serve a God that is not always fair, so to speak, but God is sovereign. Amen. He's in control. And when it is finished, amen, when the smoke clears, He will deliver. He will stand. Amen. He will be faithful. God will never fail you. He's a faithful God. My friend, I want to have that faith in Him tonight. That fiery faith. Praise God. Everybody say fiery faith. I'm still going to serve Him. I'm, I've got the 
full assurance that we read about as we begin this service tonight. The full. Do you have the full assurance tonight? The enemy works against you. Ted, he tries to bring devices against you, but we must not be ignorant. The Bible says against the devices of the devil in the midst of the furnace. Amen. God is with you. He will stand with you. Don't give up, saint of God. Keep coming to church. Be faithful to God. Keep praying. I don't care what happens in your life. You serve a faithful God. So be faithful to Him. Have the full assurance tonight. Amen. Let's lift our hands and thank Him for His Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's able to deliver. That's what three men of faith said. He is able, King, to deliver us, but if not. Everybody say, but if not. Can I ask the question on this Sunday night, in this service of faith, are the words, but if not, in your spiritual vocabulary? Would you serve God if He took away all your stuff? And He took your job away. And he took your career and all of your money vanished into the system of this world. What kind of faith would you have? We say that we have faith in God. But do I really have faith as a pastor? We faced something this week and I told her with my own lips of clay, it's, it's easy to get up here and to preach faith. But when, when it comes knocking on your own door, amen? When it comes into your kitchen and the furnace is... It's heated up. It's, it's a little bit different, amen, because this is, it's my family and it's, it's my home, amen. It's a lot easier, right, to have faith for somebody else. But if you will establish in your heart, amen, if you will have a made-up mind, I don't care what the devil brings against this house, amen, I'm going to have faith, amen. How many testimonies are in this house of people that have been delivered, that have been healed, that have been set free. We have a testimony. Amen. We have a testimony tonight that is established on the rock, Christ Jesus. I'm preaching to somebody tonight about having fiery faith. Amen. I want us to lift our hands right now and say thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. If somebody's discouraged tonight, you need to get your victory right now by lifting your hands and saying, Jesus, in spite of the circumstances and the problems that I'm facing, my hope is in you, Jesus. Fiery faith. Fiery faith. Things may be really good right now. You may be living in captivity, but in the midst of captivity... God can show you favor. Just like the three Hebrew children that we read about tonight. You may be in circumstances beyond your control. But I want to tell you, if you will be faithful to God, there is a blessing that will come upon your life. Amen. There is a blessing that will follow you like the three Hebrew children. Amen. It was all good. It was all fine and dandy. As I said before, until their faith was tested. Amen. We preached about boundaries last weekend. It has a lot to do with your faith. There's going to be moments in your life that we try to fit in. And I remember those days in high school, just a few years ago, matter of fact, where I tried to fit in. Don't laugh so loud. Where I tried to fit in. Amen? Trying to do the things just, just to fit in with the world and with the friends. But there came a, a time in my life they started noticing things in my, my vocabulary that I didn't cuss. Amen? That that I did go to church every Sunday, and hey, he's a preacher's kid. There, there was a moment in my life that conflict started coming, amen? That I understood, you know what, this peer pressure thing, it's real. And do I have the goods or not? My faith started to get tested in high school. Amen. All the days of your life, you're going to have tests that come against you, amen? We may try to fit into this world, amen, but if there's something within you, amen, that is Christ-like, if you're full of the Holy Ghost, if you've been washed, sanctified, and cleansed, there's something that comes out, amen? And it's a good thing. It's nothing to be afraid of. But can I tell you tonight, there's going to come a time in your life that your faith is going to be challenged. Just because you're trying to do the right thing. 
just because you're trying to be spiritual and to be a, be a praying man or a praying woman doesn't mean that life is going to be a cakewalk. But it's when you make up in your mind, I'm going to have a fiery faith no matter what people say. No matter what the world brings against me. No matter what the music of the world is saying to do. Amen. I'm going to stand for God. Amen. And let the world go by. I'm preaching about a fiery faith. Amen. That says I will not bend and I will not bow. I believe the truth that God has given me in this life. Early one said, but faith isn't faith until faith is the only thing that you're hanging on to. Praise God. Good statement. I believe by Brother Mark Hannibal. Amen. Faith isn't faith until faith is the only thing that you're hanging on to. Amen. We like to hang on to our stuff, right? I'm not letting go of my stuff, my finances, my stuff. This is my security blanket. Amen. These are my possessions. Lord, you're not going to take away my, my nice stuff. Amen. This is what I value. There may be moments in your life that it's ripped from you. Amen. Anybody in the house ever lost anything in regards to possessions? A house, a car, a job, it happens. It's a fact of life. It's in moments like that that we understand, you know what? My faith is in the Lord. Nothing else matters in this life but pleasing Him. We sang it tonight. Whether they believe it or not in the world, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you have a hard time bending and bowing now, there's coming a time, my friend, that you will bow before the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And you will give an account for the things that you've done in this life. And it will happen. God, help us to be ready. Help us to have fiery faith. So if God took all my stuff in this world, would I still be in the ministry? Would I still be able to preach the gospel, Brother Poland? If everything was taken from my life, I'm preaching about faith. Do I have a strong enough faith as these men of faith in the book of Daniel that said, we believe that God will deliver us. But, but if not, how do you reach that point, Sister Sparks? Well, you can say it with your own mouth. I believe God can save us from the fire and the furnace, King. But I want you to hear it loud and clear. But, but if not, but if not, I've got this fiery faith that no matter what you're bringing against me, no matter what you've threatened me with, saying that if you don't bow to this gold idol that you're going to throw us, into a fiery furnace. My faith is greater. But if not, I will stand for the Lord. Amen? Praise God. It's the Job mentality, church. He lost it all, but he kept his faith. And he said, though God slay me yet, I will trust in Him. I'm preaching to somebody tonight. If you're not getting it, you need to get it in your life. It's the fiery faith that will strengthen you, encourage you. When you lose a loved one, in your life, when something is torn from you that you love, and you count so dear, church, it's the fiery faith that will get you to the valley of the shadow of death. It's the fiery faith when disappointments come, when mistakes are made. It's the fiery faith that will get you to the other side of eternity. Though God slay me, yet I will trust in the Lord. I'm preaching to you about fiery faith tonight. Somebody lift their hands and say, God, I desire to have what he's preaching about. I desire to have it in my life. Fiery faith. Praise God. Why the heat, Lord? Why the fire? Why the trials and the afflictions of life? Could it be that he wants to make you better? He wants to make you stronger. He wants to make you wiser. It's amazing to me that when mistakes are made in my past, I was made a little bit wiser. I learned as a young child not to touch the hot stove two times. Amen. I learned a long time ago 
about the things of life, and so did you, by making mistakes. Amen? Making mistakes. Amen? We're made wiser. Amen? Through the process of life, we are made wiser. Through the afflictions of life, there is a wisdom that comes from above. Amen? That helps us to have a fiery faith. The challenges of life. Why, God, the challenges of my life? Could it be He's getting you ready for tomorrow? That it's just a challenge for today or, or this week? That the change is coming, but it's God that's saying, I just want to see what they're really made out of. They say they love me. They're faithful to church. They talk about prayer and wanting to be like me, but I... I want to turn the fire up just a little bit to see what sort it is. Maybe He's putting us through a process tonight. It's to strengthen you. It's not to weaken you. It's to empower you. It's not to strip you and to leave you naked spiritually. Amen? So that you can read a place where you can boldly proclaim He is able to deliver me and to set me free. But, but if not, hear me. I'm going to stand. I'm not going to bend. If I'm going to bend, you're going to have to break my legs. That was the mentality of these men. I don't care what your right in the decree says, King Neb. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to bow. Church, it's important that we have that same spirit. Amen? This fiery faith that I'm preaching about, it's for all of us. Amen? Praise God, they were spared from destruction. There was a complete miracle that took place. Read it for yourself. These men that were bound, verse 21, in their coats and their hats and their garments were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because of the king's commandment, was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot. The flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men fell down, bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then the king was astonished and rose up in haste. And he spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three, one, two, three? Did we not cast three? Three into the fire. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Can I remind somebody tonight in the midst of the fire that God is with you? It doesn't matter which furnace you're walking in, whatever the affliction, whatever the setback, if you will have fiery faith, I want to remind somebody tonight that God will be with you in the furnace. I don't care how hot it is. I don't care what the devil's thrown against you. Keep holding on to that fiery faith that God has given you. If He spared the three Hebrew children, I want to tell you tonight that He will spare you. That He will bring you out. He's there with you in the fire. Hallelujah. Are you ready for tomorrow? It's a challenge. But are you ready? Have you decided in my life, you know what? When it comes, Job had this mentality. Daniel had this mentality. I don't care what you sign. I'm going to keep praying. There's a window, amen? This window, I don't care what the decree says. It's going to stay open. And I'm going to keep kneeling, and I'm going to keep praying. This is what I believe, amen? This is what I entrust my life in. Daniel had that mentality. The three Hebrew children had that mentality. And I believe tonight that there's a group of Pentecostals right here in, in St. Petersburg that can have the same mentality. That when it comes, go ahead and talk about it at your table. You need to. You need to have some faith building conversations that says, you know what, when the enemy comes against this house, when I go through things in my life, sister, that I don't understand, amen, I'm going to trust him, amen. When the furnace is cranked up, when it comes, my faith says that we can make it to the other side. My faith says that we can persevere till Jesus comes. 
It's fiery faith, church. It's fiery faith that's put to the test. It's not just a medal that God is going to give you and say, ah, oh, you've earned it. You're good till the rapture. No. There's something about this process. There's something about this process. You see, silver goes through a process. The Scripture says the Word of the Lord. I believe in Psalms. It's like silver purified seven times. Amen? Everybody still with me? For silver and gold to be purified. Brother how there's a process. There's a process that it goes through, Brother Gangadeen. The metals are melted by fire. Listen to me tonight in a furnace. And then the impurities or the dross are removed from the silver. Purity does not come without a process. If you want to find yourself pure, if you want to find yourself with fiery faith, you're going to have to step into the furnace. Amen? You're going to have to say, you know what, Lord, I, it doesn't feel good. And I'm getting hot in here and I'm wringing my hands and I don't know where the answer is going to come from, Lord, but I'm willing to go through the process. Fiery faith, church. When it doesn't make sense, keep standing for truth. Amen? When the world says you're crazy for going to church, just keep coming to church. Amen? When the world ridicules us for praying, amen, keep saying I'm going to stand for God and let the world pass me by. Fiery faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. What about your faith tonight? Does it have an escape clause? Or do the words, but if not, really, are they really in your vocabulary? It's not easy to counsel somebody that's lost everything, that's lost a loved one, that suffered loss. It's going to be okay. How can you say that? You know, Romans 8.28, all things work together for good. Really, Pastor? Even when I'm standing in the furnace and I'm sweating profusely, and the fire has been cranked up seven times by an angry king? Seriously, pastor? How can you say that? My friend, I'm going to keep saying it. Amen? I'm going to keep promoting faith as we serve God. What about your faith tonight? It's fiery faith that withstands the heat that's been cranked up seven times. There's some silver saints in the house. There's some silver and there's some gold that's here. You've been through the furnace. And you've been through the heat. And it's an encouragement to me tonight to understand that there are people that are still standing. Amen? Faith. Fiery faith. I want us to stand tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Fiery faith. Everybody say fiery faith. When that day comes, will you have fiery faith? It seems like at least one of them would have said, No! Loosen these bands. It's, it's too hot in here. Okay. Wouldn't it have been easier for them to run back out and say, I don't die, Brother Ains. No. We'll go ahead and bow. We'll go ahead and bend to this idol. No. No, there was three men that they had decided weeks before, maybe months, maybe years, Brother Kevin. No. We've been taken to this place of captivity. We've stood. We're bound. And we're about to burn to death. You still with me, brother? You still with me, Shadrach? Where you at, Abednego? I lost you for a moment because of the smoke. No, together. There was three men with a made up mind that said, you know what? It doesn't matter what the world's saying and what the rest of Babylon is doing. I hear some weird music playing. I hear the sound of music outside. I see people bowing to the God of this world. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Fiery faith. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you brought into this place. Maybe you don't feel comfortable in this setting. You know what? It's okay. It takes time. Amen. It takes discipline. Amen. To come into the presence of the Lord and say, you know what? I'm going to lift my hands and I'm going to surrender. 
Amen. Because I want my faith to be strengthened and encouraged tonight. Does anybody feel like your faith could be picked up just a notch? Is there somebody here tonight that maybe you've just been going through some things that you don't understand? And you don't know where the answer is going to come from. If that's you tonight, I want to tell you what I have preached tonight from the bottom of my heart is for you. You can try everything in this world. I can tell you with a full assurance that you can't get no satisfaction from drugs, from alcohol, from the addictions of this world. There's different spirits that you can meddle with in this world. But you won't find any satisfaction. It's the fiery faith that's going to matter when the trumpet blows and the rapture takes place and the church is caught away into eternity. My friend, I encourage you tonight. You better check your faith meter. You better check your faith meter tonight. It's an order tonight for all of us. Let's all come forward tonight around this altar. This is a rally point. Amen. This is a place where God's going to pour something into you. He's going to give you the goods. He's going to bless you with a faith <laughs> that will stand the test of time. It's saying, God, I believe that you can deliver me, but if not, my faith is going to trust in the Lord. Amen. Everybody in this house could use a fresh dose of faith. Am I right? Who would say, no, I don't want any more faith? That's for the birds. That's old-fashioned. No. This is for whosoever will. Amen? There's coming a day that you're going to need this type of faith that I've preached about tonight. There's coming a week. There's coming a month. Will you have the goods? Will you have the fiery faith when you step into the fiery furnace? I pray that you would by lifting your hands tonight and saying, God of heaven, my faith is still in the Lord. I don't understand why you haven't answered my prayer yet. I don't know why my family's going through what it is. I don't understand the disappointments of life, Lord. But I need a fresh touch. There's a fresh anointing for someone tonight. Woo, that just needs a fresh touch from the Lord. Come on, it goes beyond hype. It goes beyond excitement. It goes beyond passion. It is the gift of God. It is the spirit of faith that God is pouring out into this sanctuary tonight. Lift up your head. Woo, lift your head up tonight. Your redemption draweth nigh. Fiery faith. Would you lift your hands and receive what God wants to give you right now? Everybody in the building, lift your hands right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. You're standing before Jesus Christ. This is not an idol of gold. If you believe what I preached tonight, would you lift your hands and say, God, I need some of that fiery faith. I need a fresh touch. I need a fresh anointing tonight, Jesus. Fiery faith. He never promised the cross would not get heavy. Ask God to increase your faith the tonight. Come on, church. Not be hard to climb. I'm serious about it, God. Oh, Jesus. He never offered a victory without fighting. But he said, help would always come inside. Just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in, just hold on, our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again. 
promised the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come in time just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again he never promised the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come in time just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on and our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again he never promised the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come in time just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on our Lord will show off and he will take you through the fire again he never promised that the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come in time just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again he never promised because we're not getting heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come inside just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again he never promised the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb he never offered a victory without fighting but he said help would always come in time 
just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says give in just hold on I'm always sure and he will take you through the fire again Hallelujah. I want us to lift our hands once again we can never get enough faith Amen. I want you to lift your hands right now if you believe what I preached. And let's ask Him before we leave. Lord, I need you to top it off tonight. Lord, I need you to top my heart off with faith. Come on, don't be afraid to ask the Lord for faith. Nothing scary about faith. We need it to make it through this life. Lord, bless your people of the life center of this church. Let faith arise. Help us to be Christians with faith backbones not ashamed of what we believe in the face of a sin sick world drowning in sorrow and misery God help the real church to stand up and say I believe in faith fiery faith that will get us through the furnace of life when the heat's cranked up seven times Lord increase our faith Hallelujah. Pray that before you leave. Lord, increase my faith. Increase my faith. Oh, increase my faith. Pray it tonight, church. You're going to need it. Be prepared. Hallelujah. It's not a doomsday thought. It's just being prepared for the journey. It's being ready for whatever life throws at you. Lord, increase our faith tonight. Fiery faith. Fiery faith. Standing in the furnace. Bound. But having faith that God will provide. Woo! Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Let's thank Him tonight. I believe it's in order tonight for us to thank the Lord. Woo, for increasing our faith. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in like a flood. Hallelujah. Thank God there's a standard that will be raised up against him. Faith. Faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Woo! Say it tonight. My faith is in the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for what we have heard, what we have experienced today. Thank you, Lord, for two people that were baptized this morning in Jesus' name to begin a new walk of faith. Thank you for every heart that was blessed and encouraged tonight, for every heart and soul that has felt the love of Jesus. Help us to not be afraid to take another step closer to you. Lord, increase our faith. Before we leave here tonight, God, I pray that no one leaves this place discouraged. That no one leaves this place depressed. Lord, let there be a spirit of encouragement that falls as I pray right now. Encourage your people, Lord. Encourage your families, Jesus. Pour it out, Lord. A fresh anointing, a fresh touch. Blessings from heaven. Encouragement from you, God. Woo! Fiery faith, church. Praise God. God bless you tonight. I believe that there's some faithful people in this house that need to hear the message every once in a while. Woo! That in the fire.